it's time to get ready and go into another dash adventure. And by now, you know the drill. Buy the flight ticket, pack everything, take a bus ride, hit the road, airport, take a nap. And of course, this time we're heading to Medellin, Colombia. And I'm going to show you what's happening into another Latin American country where Dash is leading by example. Located between the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, Colombia today sits on a key location regarding the economic crisis in Venezuela. Former president of Colombia, Juan Manuel Santos, also a 2016 Nobel Prize winner for his plan of bringing a 50 years old long civil war against the FARCs to an end. He left power in 2018 after two terms where Colombia today faces a better economic position compared to Venezuela and other countries in Latin America. The rise of cryptocurrencies in Colombia comes together with the new Colombian Presidente Ivan Duque and his promise that he may cut taxes for crypto and blockchain companies. The information has been released by the local news outlet El Tiempo on August 29th. More specific, this time I'm heading to Medellin. It is the second largest city in Colombia. The city has an estimated population of 2.5 million people. Today, the position of Medellin as a secondary industrial city in Colombia has been one of the main factors in overcoming its crisis of the 1980s and 1990s. The Medellin Metro, a massive urban transport service, became the pride of the city. This city is also known as the city of the Terno Spring, due to its great weather year-round. And today, Medellin is the base of one of the most active Dash communities in the world. Medellin is also the home of CoinLogic ATM Solution, proposed owner Edward from Dash.Red, Samuel Barbosa, Dash Core Team Developer, and George Donnelly, Dash Colombia proposal owner. My goal today is to go over and see how Colombia went from having one business accepting Dash in January 2018 to over 350 business by the end of the year, and how Colombia has been one of the most important countries during the Venezuela economic crisis. Up to today, Colombia has taken over millions of refugees from Venezuela and it's playing an incredible role in this horrible humanitarian crisis. Also, the Dash community is working on an educational program to bring a solution to this massive amount of people migrating to Colombia. They're here simply to work, make money, and send it back to their families in Venezuela. We can no longer just hope, believe, or trust the system, government, or banks. We need cryptocurrencies, and we need it right now. We had an early morning and the goal for today is to approach between 10 to 15 merchants across the city and check the status or trying to invite new merchants to adopt Dash. This time I was also invited by the community to speak in their events coming up and I was joined by Nelson Cameda from Cameda Technologies. We also had Lorenzo Reye from Dash Venezuela and Eugenio Alcala the founder of Dash Venezuela. That morning, we rode a couple taxis and went all over the city to see how's the first contact with new merchants and how the adoption takes place. How do you approach the merchants? What's the technique that either 
if you go or you send someone to convince someone to use this internet magic money, give us a tip. Sure. Well, when I go in, I say, uh, I'm here to let you know that Dash Digital Cash has arrived in Medellin. Every week, we're giving out a little bit of Dash to people, and they're looking for uh, places to spend it. So I'd like to bring you new customers, and I'll teach you all about Dash. I'll uh, make sure you don't lose any money. Would you like to give it a try? And I get, we, we, our whole team here, we are very successful with that approach because what merchant doesn't want new customers? I've been so far in a couple of restaurants that accept Dash here in Medellin. Uh, after the event, actually tonight, I'm gonna go check it out a whole supermarket that accepts Dash as well. So that's something excited. And it's interesting to see third world countries accepting and dealing with cryptocurrency in a ratio faster than than uh, Europe or, or US. How do you see this taking over or the Dash Medellin, Dash Colombia project in a couple months from now? I think it's gonna it's gonna get a bit nuts. Our main challenge now is how to sell Dash to people safely because people want them. Uh, luckily, we have a partner company here called CoinLogic that is rolling out uh, ATMs across the city. Um, I really, I, I, every day I just feel like this is getting outside of my control. Things are happening without me, which is good. Going door to door is an extremely hard task. Approaching the merchant for the first time or reconnecting with a previous merchant who accept Dash in the past, but yet had not customers before. Sometimes we heard, yes, you're more than welcome to set up shop and implement our business into the Dash community. Sometimes we heard no saying, we're not interested yet. But the walk continues. And after a long day, it's time to go home and get some rest for the event day tomorrow. Event days are always my favorite day of the week. Hundreds of people get together trying to understand what cryptocurrencies and Dash Digital Cash are. And it's the opportunity they have to download a wallet and experience Dash for the first time. I also put it together a presentation talking about the history of money and how important it is to understand how money today is just a piece of paper. And this event was no different as we had several different proposal owners from Dash Colombia, Dash Venezuela, and Dash Brazil. Also a core team member developer and members from the local community that are already creating and help expand the cryptocurrency ecosystem in Medellin. During the entire event, right outside on the other conference room, we had about 30 merchants that already accept Dash that came to be part of the event in order to let everybody experience what it is to use Dash on a daily basis. It was a great opportunity to buy several products paying with Dash, but most important, lunch and food at Medellin's Merchant Market. Caracas's famous favela, it's kind of trademark of Venezuela's capital. No one can say how many people live in those slums. 
heard that uh, food chains like Papa John's, Subway may accept cryptocurrency. We're gonna check it out now. This sticker actually means that they do accept cryptocurrency. Hi, buenos dias. Bueno. I can pay with uh, Dash. Currently, I cannot accept the payments in Dash. I need a smartphone to scan the code that you will receive on your phone to complete the transaction. But the boss took the smartphone. How many people pay with uh, cryptocurrency? Is it popular? When we have the equipment during the weekends, sometimes we get four people in one day. During my trip to Venezuela, I noticed how inconvenient it was every single time I had to make a purchase. I either had to hand my cell phone to someone in order to scan a computer, tablet, or another cell phone behind the counter, or wait for the manager or owner to come over with his own cell phone in order to accept the payment. There was a trust issue where owners didn't want to leave their own cell phone with their employees or allow the employees to download and use their own cell phones and their own wallets and later forward the transaction in the end of the day. Another issue was merchants that printed their wallets and left exposed during the entire day, which allows anybody to know exactly how many dash and how many transactions they had on that business during that day. This works for now, but in order to scale and fully use the capacity of QR code scanning, blockchain technology, and most important, one second dash digital cash and confirmation transaction, we needed a better solution. And with that in mind, we start working on a solution that I call today ElectroPay. As we speak, we're finishing the final details of our factory in China, and soon we'll be able to manufacture 25,000 units per month. During our week in Colombia, myself and Nelson Cameda, the engineer behind this POS, we brought a few prototypes in order to test and show the merchants. They absolutely love it and wanted to buy it right away. But now check it out how simple this low-cost POS solution will work. But how do we go from one merchant accepting Dash in January 2018 in Colombia to over 350 businesses accepting Dash in less than 12 months? This just doesn't happen overnight or simply by posting an ad on Google or Facebook. This process takes thousands of hours, hundreds of meetups, high effect management skills, daily training of merchants and store owners, and most important, training every single staff and individual how to manage, download, and operate a Dash Digital Cash wallet. It's the one-on-one -on -one conversation that you have to engage with every single individual and tell the same story. And in just in a matter of minutes, explain to them about money, economics, and technology. This is definitely a lot of work. From the first point of contact to the second visit, and to finally closing the merchant, setting up the store with stickers and wallets, and most important, letting them know that they are now part of a global network. Also, it's very important to train every single store owner how to balance their books and where to exchange Dash Digital Cash into Fiat in order for them to pay for their suppliers and employees. The time put into this project, all the hours worked, 
all the hours walked every single merchant counts every single meeting counts every single person counts every single wallet download counts and most important all the enthusiasts and the people that are willing to make the entire cryptocurrency ecosystem grow and most of the meetings training and meetups are to make sure everybody knows how to download a wallet make a backup and secure their funds in a proper way and once you're really down on the ground and you approach the merchants you notice that hundreds of them are willing to share their space in order to let the community organize events and meetups and most important staff and personal training and all this was done in a very professional way and most important everything was accounted for today inside the dash network we also have other proposal owners in charge of verifying every single proposal to make sure that all the funds are being spent in a fair way and today dash colombia led by george donnelly is the prime example of leadership that we have inside this network committed to achieving surprising results hi i'm george donnelly I set out 11 weeks ago to prove that crypto mass adoption was not just possible, but that people were hungry for it, and that I could do it effectively and sustainably at low cost. And we've succeeded. 11 weeks ago, there were zero Dash merchants in Colombia, the third most populous Latin American nation and neighbor to Venezuela. Today, there are more than 95. Jimenez. 40 percent are restaurants. 26 percent are retail stores. The rest are everything from barbers and tailors to motorcycle repair shops and a hotel. These are small brick and mortar shops with less than five employees where the owner is present in the business on a regular basis. We found them Juan Usuga and I, by burning shoe leather on the streets of Medellin, getting 10 no's for every yes. In one neighborhood, we have nearly 20 dash merchants in a four block radius. Every new merchant, after receiving an orientation and installing a dash wallet, gets a pay with dash sticker and a small dash airdrop. We bring our merchants new dash paying customers and do transactions with them promptly, seeding new dash users in their local community with small amounts of dash so the users return to the merchants and keep spending dash even when we're not there. We support our dash merchants with a dash buyback program as we build confidence with them and expand the Dash economy in Colombia so that merchants know Dash is real money and can accept it with confidence. We build relationships with our new users and merchants using inexpensive digital media. Along the way, we developed a new strategy. The fact is, Regular people don't have hours to spend at meetups, sitting in classrooms and receiving long, detailed talks on the minute details of blockchain technology. They want to know in a few minutes' time what is so special about Dash. More than that, they want to experience it, be on their way, and keep in touch with us on their phones. So that's what we did. I call it the low-cost, merchant-centric strategy for Dash Dash. Uh, here we are with the group of sandwich sellers. They used to accept Bitcoin, but it was just too darn expensive, and now they accept Dash preferentially. Some of our work has been independently verified by another community member, and according to Discover Dash, Colombia is number eight in the world in number of Dash merchants and number two in Latin America. Our events are getting bigger. Merchants are coming to us. Salesmen are bringing us new leads on commission. We're confident that we can get in the next six months, 450 or more new Dash merchants in Colombia. 
And what gives a currency value more than having places to spend it? Thanks, Rodrigo. Great Merchants. to be here. Well, nice uh, to talk to you. We actually met a couple weeks ago at Bitcoin Summer. Thanks for your support. Juan and I appreciate it and are laboring daily to ensure that we are achieving important and meaningful results for Dash here in Colombia. Adelante con Dash. Adelante con Dash. Consumers will unbox their Crip smartphone to find it preloaded with cryptocurrency to spend or trade as they see fit. A real workhorse of a device at an ultra competitive price that comes with cryptocurrency to burn. <laughs> How cool is that? Crip will cater to value seekers across the three Americas. A vast market of 900 million men and women in more than 20 countries. The kind of consumer who cannot afford a $1,000 handset. From a tech-savvy yet price-conscious 16-year-old to a 40-something small business owner, regardless of age, gender, ethnicity, background, country of origin, or occupation. The Pitch. The first smartphone preloaded with free cryptocurrency and digital crypto friendly wallet at a retail price under $100. The Crypt smartphone has been extremely successful in Venezuela with over 66,000 units sold. And today, Dash Colombia is already on advanced conversations with the Crypt Mobile Corporation in order to implement this system as well in Colombia. Low-cost solutions like this one are essential for the development and implementation of Dash, especially in new markets like Medellin, Colombia. We held training and mentoring sessions with five new Dash marketing teams in Latin America this week, including Pereira, Colombia, Paraguay, Chile, Ecuador, and Mexico. Working with Dash Venezuela, Dash Brazil, and Dash Argentina, we submitted a Dash Latam proposal. The Dash Latam conference takes place in Medellin on Saturday, October 27th. Dash community member Juan Ortega has taken the lead in getting the 2 million strong and growing Venezuelan migrant community here in Colombia to use Dash for remittances. The migrants remain skeptical of Dash, but Juan aims to produce 25 documented Dash wallets to Dash wallet remittances from Colombia to Venezuela and 10 I bought this with Dash videos filmed at Venezuelan Dash merchants by the end of February. Now that he has received 12 Dash and funding from Dash Boost, I expect he and his team will achieve this goal. The Dash Latam project continues with our first five merchants each secured in Bogota and Sao Paulo. We're currently working with teams in three other Latin American capitals. Hi everyone, I am Ezequiel Gomes from Dash Sao Paulo and today we are making the first event in connection with Dash Colombia here in Brazil. Today we are going to offer people a lunch paid in Dash. So come with us and have a nice lunch. In the past 12 months, I traveled to over 30 events around the world, but most of them in Latin America, four just in Colombia. And I haven't seen yet a community as strong as the Dash Digital Cash community. Once it comes to creating content, organizing events and merchant adoption, with more and more cryptocurrency events happening in Latin America, especially in Colombia and Brazil. Professional content creation is extremely important to show the strength of the project such as Dash Digital Cash and how the community behind it is making this happen in a ratio that we haven't seen on any other project around the globe. Today alone, there are more business accepting Dash Digital Cash than most of the other cryptocurrencies projects combined.
After a long week, it is time to hit the road and enjoy a relaxing day in the countryside. All the Dash Latam team leaders and organized by Dash Colombia community leaders and friends to spend the day socializing together. But do not think we are here talking about random conversations. At this point, we can't stop talking about cryptocurrencies, blockchain, and the protocol wars. And how can we increase mass adoption? How can we create more educational programs? How can we do more integrations? And the most important, how can we bring sense of unity to all the communities? The main question is, how do you analyze the price of cryptocurrency today? Just by looking at the charts or the community behind the project? It is true what many of you heard. 2018 has been a very hard year. The system have gathered an army, and as I speak, that army is bringing the entire market down to prove that we are wrong. Believe me when I say, we have a difficult time ahead of us. But if we are to be prepared for it, we must first shed the fear of it. As we stand here, before you now truly unafraid and why because i believe something you do not no i stand here without fear because i remember i remember that i'm here not because of the path that lies before me but because of the path that lies behind me i remember that for the past 100 years we have fought the banking system and i remember that for 100 years they have developed ways to control us to destroy us and after over a century of struggle i remember which matters the most we are still here <laughs> <laughs> 